Andrew Arntz, thinking about your leadership style, what advice would you give a new chief executive? Listen. You know, it's... Uh, you think back and you think that... Uh, I was very fortunate to have a six-month transition period with my predecessor. And it's funny because if I would have implemented everything that I thought about the, the first 30, 60 days, um, you know, I can't imagine where we'd be. So I feel, you know, what you just listen, just learn, just feel. And, and, and it's tough for type A personalities in, in, in this position to do that. Um, but I think you'll be better off in the long run. And... You've been in the job for about three years now uh, here. How do you think your leadership style has changed in that period? You know, I think with anything, I think with experience, you just you get smarter. And I think that you also, you know, when you, no different than in your personal leadership style, when you have some quick wins, then I think that gives you a confidence to continue to do, um, to continue to do what you do. But I think I think that you've always had your instincts, and, and, and I've always told the team, okay, this is my instinct, this is my gut, now confuse me with some facts. And, and so the more you do that, I think, again, you become more confident in your own instincts, and so maybe you react faster now, maybe you can um, you know, take advantage of situations, um, because, you know, and, and, and it's not an overly confident, but it's, you know, you're past that learning curve, you're almost so intimate, yeah, I think I think I think the biggest challenge that anyone has, the longer that they're in the position, is to remain objective and to remain aware. Um, you know, it is so easy to just get get almost sucked into the day to day, and you know, we're in the process right now of putting together the three year vision for the company, and 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 it's hard. It's hard to get not only yourself thinking how dramatically is the world going to change in three years, what is digital going to be like in three years. You know, I mean, how are the shopping patterns going to change? How's the luxury consumer going to change? How are they going to feel about brands in three years? But I love this time. I love it when we do this because it, it really, it allows you to, 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 to really remain objective. And, and I, again, I think it's important in, you know, in my tenure at Burberry. I mean, I'm, I'm here for a moment in this, in this 153 years, so. This is a big, um, big scale, isn't it? Um, and what's the biggest mistake that a leader can make? You know, again, I think um, not listening, not feeling, not trusting your instincts, um, not using your team. Um, you know, you hire functional experts for a reason. You know, I always say when I go to a country, I hire an interpreter. And if I'm going to court, I'm hiring someone to defend me. I mean, it's, but I think it's no different in business, where I think sometimes, you know, sometimes people, um, they know what they know, but they, you know, they, you know, the old saying, know what you know and know what you don't know. And I think it's the greatest lesson for great leaders. 